Thomas Keller uh, owns the French Laundry out in California. He's a famous French chef, and he he said when he was younger, you know, somebody asked him why why do cooks cook? Cooks cook to to nurture people. There's nothing better than having somebody come up to me and say, listen. This has been a great experience, and it's not just eating to get full, but it's been an experience and and nurturing the soul, and you know, and, and getting people to feel comfortable in in, 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 a, in a family environment. You know, this that's that's our goal here. Jamie Guay from Michigan kind of fell into food service through the military. They sent me over to Okinawa, Japan, and um, I studied food service there and was offered a position in Detroit uh, managing a large restaurant. Kind of got burnt out, um, left for a number of years, and then ended up meeting a couple that uh, invited me to a chili cook-off um, in the middle of winter. It was a blizzard at a fire station. And it was quite a few teams, and, and they were all very competitive teams, and I ended up winning it. I'd love to be able to pass this on to the base staff here. You know, I'd love to see them have it someday. The way he treats his staff, I think, is absolutely unbelievable. We come first, payroll comes first, everything comes first when it comes to his staff. I've worked many restaurant jobs. This is probably one of my absolute favorites. I'd still be involved at some point, but I'd love to see the staff take this over and, and do really well with it and, and own it someday. You know, that's a goal of mine. Okay, so like I tell people, there is a method to this madness. Okay. You smush, okay. you cut, and you smush. Okay, smush, so smush, 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 cut, smush, smush. Okay. enjoy. All right. I've got a couple customers that come in here once or twice a year, even from like Ohio, the Northwest. I'm from the Northwest, so I know quite a few people up there. They've actually lost their spouse and come here because their spouse felt so passionate about eating here and enjoyed themselves so much. And um, that's a great feeling. Um, you, money means nothing at that point. It's about that relationship. Yeah. 2018. Uh, my wife's grandpa passed away down the road, off of Upward, Upward Road, their farm. And that day, her uncle brought us here. And that wow. was the first time I had this wow, food. I never knew that. <laughs> that was the first time I had this food. And so that is such a bitter memory for us. And yet at the same time... It's a celebration also. It's a celebration. Yeah. And it, it's this place. Every time we come, we know where that table is. We walk by it that we ate, and we ask, can we not eat at that table sometimes? You know, we've had to ask. But at the same time, we come here because it was such a comfort to us. I'm glad you told me that story, because that's a good feeling for me to know that when you come here, you might not want to sit at that table, but you know, that this is kind of a place for you to reflect on the good times and I'm sure that you enjoyed yourself that day before you know and, and, and to, to be able to come here and have this as kind of your special place yeah. and that's one of the things that's really when a customer tells me that they drove an hour and a half and we have it happen all the time on a Sunday they took their Sunday they drove an hour and a half here not to go shopping but to eat here get back in their car and drive an hour and a half back home again money that's not the point here it's the nurturing and they care so much about eating here and hanging out with their friends, which is our staff, that they, they make that trip. That's spectacular, you know, that's a successful restaurant. Yeah.